Those pesky kids at Elgato have brought out a new beta version of the Stream Deck software, and this one includes virtual Stream Decks, and it's really cool. Let me show you a little bit about it. First thing you'll need to do, obviously, is go to Elgato's website. There's a link in the description below. Get the beta version of the Stream Deck software, download it, install it, and it's going to look something like this. Not very much different, but they have added a few things that you'll notice. So on the right hand side here, where you see Stream Deck, they've got this new thing called VSD Toggle. And what that is going to do is enable and disable the new virtual Stream Deck that I'm going to show you now. To get to your virtual Stream Deck and to create one, in the list at the top, where you see all your Stream Decks listed, underneath the Add Mobile Device, they've got something new called Add Virtual Device. Let's click on it, boom going to pop up on the screen here. Here it is. How cute is that? It's a little virtual stream deck. So what you can do with it is first off, you can see a couple of different sort of menus at the top here. You've got this little slider window and then there's the show and hide, which is the eye. And that's where the VSD toggle will also action. But let's just take a look at these options for a second. So you've got fixed or dynamic. Dynamic is going to place it, I think, wherever the application is running that you want and it's disappeared for me, so let's put it back to fixed. Where's it gone? There it is. I prefer to have it fixed, because Dynamic is going to sort of open up wherever you're actually actioning the program from when you press the various keys, but I'm not gonna worry about that for now. Let's go back on the toggle. Then you can click a hotkey to enable and disable it. Then you've got auto hide features, so when the cursor leaves the panel, you can hide it, or after the action is triggered, so that means you don't have to have this virtual stream deck up all the time personally i like to have the virtual stream deck front and center so i can see it but if you want to auto hide it you can then you can change the number of rows and layouts that means you can have as large a stream deck as you want basically look at that you can have it crazy i'm going to make mine just a three by three for now hide empty keys so if there's a key that hasn't been filled you can do that I'll show what that looks like in a second. You can change the key size for people who wear glasses like me who need a larger stream deck. And then obviously you can change the opacity and the frame color to match your brand. Or if you just feel a little bit funky and want something looking like that, I'm gonna keep it like this, put my opacity on max. So this is a really great alternative to the physical um, stream deck because now you can have really as many stream decks as you want virtually. You can add another one down here as well and another virtual stream deck. It'll pop it up here. It always keeps it as the default. And yeah, let's just add a key. So I'm using Ecamm Live. Let's go into the Ecamm Live actions. Let's just grab next scene and pop it in there. Oops, <laughs> I've got to pop it in here. So I'm not popping it in the virtual stream deck yet. Silly person. And then I'm going to put it in here. So this is basically in stream deck two. I can do the same thing. I can copy put this into Stream Deck 1, like that, and go crazy. And the hide virtual keys basically means just that. So if I enable the empty keys, I then can see my Stream Deck where it's not been fully populated. It's a personal preference. I think I like it like this, so I can see everything. But if you want to actually make it look a little less cluttered on your desktop, then you can do that. Now I'm just going to go back to my first scene by clicking it, and then I'll go back to this. So clicking these now just with the mouse is great. Now let's just add one of those other options where it says auto hide when the cursor leaves the panel. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on that. And when the cursor leaves the panel, it's hidden. And it's actually going to be down here at the bottom somewhere. So I'll bring up my virtual stream deck again. In fact, I don't know where it's gone in this particular case. It's hidden. A pesky stream deck, it's hidden. So what I can do real quick is I'm just going to pop it into my other Stream Deck. I'm just going to put one of these free keys here, VSD toggle, toggle should I say. So this will turn on and off my virtual Stream Deck. So let's bring it back by pressing that. I actually don't know where it went and hid. I wonder if it's hiding down here. I can't actually see it. That's really weird. So if I look at my menu bar, I can't see it. I need to play with it more. I've only just downloaded it and looked at it but I thought I'd just give you a first look because I know you guys who subscribe to my channel love the Elgato stuff and I like playing around with it as well as soon as it's just come out 
I've already downloaded the beta version as you can see and I'm playing with it. But tell me what you think about this virtual stream deck. I'm going to be playing a lot more with it to see what I can do, but I think it supports all the same things with hot keys and the multi actions and all that kind of stuff. And I'm always buying stream decks, the physical ones, but I've always wanted to have something on the screen where I can quickly click around. I used to use an iPad for that, but now I can use the virtual stream deck. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. I will be making more videos on it. Keep subscribing, keep on trucking, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.